Yeah, good evening, parents. Uh, my name is Ergo Sullivan. I've got your son or daughter for maths this year in either 8P or 9P. Um, rather than making two separate videos, I figured making one would be fine because we're talking about exactly the same stuff. The purpose of this video uh, for you guys is just so you can find out everything that you'll, you'll need to know in terms of, of maths, um, where all their resources are kept, um, homework is set, and all, all those bits and pieces. First things first, um, where it is all kept is on a program called OneNote. All right, now if you're sitting there thinking, I don't have OneNote on my computer, that is absolutely fine because there is an online version through www.office.com that, you, that you know, everyone that's an Ed Queensland student at Meriden can access uh, and they can use the online version of OneNote for free, just like they can use the online version of Excel or Microsoft Word for free as well. Um, once they come into the online version, so this is through your, your browser, I use Google Chrome, um, they will have one notebook for all of their core subjects. All right. Now the trick here with maths is that there's a maths tab, but then there's a maths units tab. This is where we store all of our separate units, so unit one, two, three, four, five, as we move through the year. Within the unit, there are several pages. All right. What I want them to do is, rather than using the online version, come up here and hit open in OneNote. All right, it's going to open uh, in an app, okay, just like using the Facebook app as opposed to using Safari to open log into Facebook. All right. Um, so when they come to this, it's going to look like this here. Um, and again, these are all the pages down the side here. So on this front sheet here is our learning goal sheet. And down the left-hand side, we have our learning goals. There's five of them for this unit. And within each learning goal, there are two or three, four or five things that you need to do to be competent or to, to consider yourself competent at this learning goal here. So for example, the first one, which is looking at terminating recurring decimals, the students have to be able to convert fractions and then classify irrational numbers. So they're the two things they need to do to be competent at that. Up the top here, um, there are some tracking documents. There's a little video there that we posted last year about the learning goal overview for a bit more detail. But down the right hand side here, so far this term we've started with success criteria A. All right which is converting fractions to decimals. Now on each page is a whole raft of resources. Okay, down this left hand side is some, you know, more of the theoretical components, some work examples um, as such, some definitions. Down the middle here there is some, might be a PowerPoint or a Word document down here, followed closely by some interactive websites such as YouTube, Khan Academy, um, Kahoot, which is like an online quiz, um, YouTube they can't watch at school um, but they can watch that at home. Over here on the right hand side we've got some different levels of questions okay so on the left hand side here we've got the abacus which obviously indicates that those are, are easier questions followed by some calculator questions which just means they're harder it doesn't mean they have to use a calculator. And on the right hand side we, we just label that supercomputer that's your probably you're moving towards your A standard questions. All right, so that's the same on every single page um, that's, that's you know relevant to a success criteria, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Back on this first page here, it actually goes down to success criteria S. As we go through and teach, I'll slowly add more and more pages uh, from our maths resources unit. Also on this page here, we've got uh, a page called FATS which stands for formative assessment tasks. Uh, there'll be another little video later in the week uh, sending you guys almost like a weekly update with how how they're travelling uh, in terms of the work that we've covered in the previous week. It's a really good tracking tool uh, but more on that later. Uh, leading up to exams um, there'll be some revision. There's already some in here um, for this unit. Uh, homework will be set here so there's been three few sets of homework. Uh, we're easing into that this term. Uh, a skills page down here which is if there are some basic numeracy concepts that are needed throughout this unit I'll go and paste them in there as a bit of a reference guide for people and to go together with the formative assessment tasks um, I'm going to post the solutions online here as well. It's my hope that if uh, on the day that we do the formative assessment task if your son or daughter is away they should be able to jump on the one note or check the email that I send you guys have a crack at the formative assessment task and then go through and mark their work and they can bring that result to school and I can add them to the spreadsheet. All right. Um, so that's basically everything you need to know in terms of where stuff is, where homework is going to be set. Not every teacher sets their homework on OneNote here. Most of the time I will. I will do that. Okay. 
Uh, if you've got any questions, I'd love to hear from you guys. Any comments, I'd love to hear from you guys also. Uh, if there are any issues or you've got any burning questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me.